seven of my general practice placement is done. I've only got one week left, guys. What am I gonna do when I finish? What am I gonna do? So I've had an amazing week again. Monday, I saw some wounds, which is really good because I love wounds, I love the nasties. I'm very strange like that. And one of the wounds that we saw on Monday um, was a surgical wound on the chest area and he had a couple of stitches to remove. And my mentor looked at me and she said, oh, do you want to remove these stitches? And I was like, um, I've never removed a stitch before. Sorry to disappoint you, but can I watch you first and then I'll do one? <laughs> and my mentor was like, Claire, you're not supposed to say that in front of the patient. Um, but we had a laugh about it. It was, it was a comedy moment. It was quite funny. And the patient was lovely. He was like, don't worry, Claire. If you want to practice on me, you can practice on me. Everyone's got to learn. So I was like, oh. Okay, so I'll watch my mentor do it first and then I'll have a go if that's all right. And then he was lovely about it. I was very nervous. I don't know if it's like this everywhere. I don't know if different countries have different ways of removing stitches, but you literally just, you pull it with the tweezers, like a little, a tie. So you pull it with the tweezers and then you get a blade and you just slice it off. It's a bit nervous. I've got a blade in my hand though. <laughs> I was there like, oh. Sorry if I cut you. <laughs> no, that's a joke. I would never do that. I'm far too gentle to even harm anybody. I've done the clips, little metal clips. Anyone that doesn't know what I'm on about, they're like staples in the skin. So I've removed those before, no problem. I did that on my first placement. But I've never actually removed a proper stitch. It was bizarre. Like, I didn't really... I just, anyways, made my day. <laughs> it made my day that I did something new. I learnt a new skill. I removed a stitch. I had some of my own patients as well, so I did my own patients. I have been doing a mixture of working with my mentor and doing my own clinics, so doing the diabetic foot checks, the blood pressures, asthma clinics, which have been great. It's so good. You don't realise um, in general practice how much you're working autonomously and it's just fantastic like it's your clinic you can run it how you want you've got your family time the doctor's amazing the doctor of that clinic is fantastic and he's always saying you know it's about you it's about your family work family life as long as the patients are seen they're safe they're healthy all the checks are being done all the computer systems done all the paperwork and everything's done he doesn't mind what hours you do how long you work he's fine he's really good in fact, he said to um, one of the other doctors, he was saying, what are you still doing here? You were supposed to go an hour ago. You, you, your little girl's gonna absolutely hate you if you don't get home now. And told her off for actually staying over. So that was really, really nice to see. Something you don't see often. So I'm just loving it. And then Tuesday we had baby immunizations in the morning and we had a couple of blood pressures thrown in there as well, just for good measure. And then in the afternoon we had minor surgery and minor surgery was really interesting this week. We had a couple of steroid injections into the joints, which was fantastic. And we had a couple of um, skin tags, warts and mole removals. So I was really excited for that because I was like, yes, I haven't seen this before. And it was really great. Like the surgeon's really good. He's very precise in what he's doing and he doesn't leave the tiniest little bit. Like you can see he's quite a perfectionist. So that was quite interesting to see. And he, he was quick. He was just like, shoo, 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 shoo. he was really good at his job. He's like, yeah, yeah, done, fine. See you later. Um, in, out, in, out. It's, uh, it's non-stop in minor surgery. But that was really good to see. It was great to see a new thing this week, um, especially mole removals. Moles, you have to, he injected it with a local anaesthetic around it. And then he sort of, trimmed got the scalpel and just dug like a little tiny bit around the area and then just sliced it across and then the mole came off and then it went into a little pot pot of fluid to be sent off to be examined by the lab make sure there's nothing sinister going on and the results will go back to the patients so that was really good to experience and then Wednesday I had the asthma and COPD clinic with my buddy mentor who is fantastic. She's really good. She's so knowledgeable with asthma and COPD. Fantastic. So I worked alongside her with that. She was showing me how to work out the spirometer readings as well. Actually, I've got, I've got a copy. Let me show you. So this is the spirometer readings. Look at that. How is anyone supposed to understand this writing? Oh gosh, so that's spirometer reading. So to blow a breathing test basically to test the lung capacity and the force volume, things like that. And you have to minus the best from the worst and get an overall percentage. So 
It's quite tricky to understand and work out, so I'm not going to go into that. And then Thursday we had a home visit, so another wound, some blood pressures, diabetic foot checks again. I was given a task as well to go online. This wasn't at the home visit. This was um, in the when we got back to clinic. I was given the task to print off some of the hand washing techniques, which I'll post the link be below again so you can see what those are. If we're in a different country or something, it might be different. So share your ideas with me, guys. Comment. Uh, give me a comment if you have a different sort of hand washing technique in your country. Um, but let me know, please. So I'll post the link below. Have a look. Let me know if there's anything different. And so I printed off the hand washing techniques and then I laminated them. Oh, I love laminating things. I've got my own lamin laminator here at home. I love laminating. I love making things. And then I put them up around the clinic or by the sinks for people to see. And then Friday, Friday I was sat with the doctor. So on Friday we saw a variety of patients again from general coughs and colds. Someone had lost their voice. A couple of mental health patients as well. Um, so just assessing their needs and referring them on to the appropriate services because one was quite, they needed a referral basically. So I did that and I faxed it to them and everything and I finished at two o'clock. Oh, I finished nice and early on Friday so I got home, did some exercises, chilled out for the night. I did nothing, I didn't even touch my phone. I sat and I watched Nashville. Anyone, does anyone watch Nashville? Nashville is amazing. If you don't watch Nashville, have a look, go and check it out watch Nashville because it's amazing. I'm on season two now so I've been binge watching that like crazy lately. And today is Saturday and as I'm gonna post another video all about the hard scholarship but I had my funding, I'm creating my blog site today, that's what I'm gonna be doing all weekend is making my blog site look amazing and professional and hopefully it's gonna be much better than it already is so links below for my blog site if you want to have a look at it and see what I do to it and hope everyone has an amazing weekend monday oh i'm gonna be gutted next week next week's vlog is gonna be emotional i said this in my last vlog it's gonna be really emotional and i'm not looking forward to finishing and we'll just i'll see you next weekend have a great weekend enjoy this lovely beautiful rain that we're having go dance in the rain if you want to dance in the rain and i'll see you all next week mm -hmm.